for the first question okay you're required to change into standard form so I have written down 5.34 and calculated how many times I need to shift it to make it 5.34 so it is 7 times so the results will be 5.34 times 10 to the power of 7 whereby for part 2 okay uh, I've written down 2400 minus 2040 for the reason being I changed it into 24 hours format okay so in order for me to make the calculation okay I actually uh, changed the 2400 okay into 2360 because one hour there's only 60 minutes okay so after you run the calculation you will actually get three hours and 20 minutes and then I add them up okay with the balance of six hours and 10 minutes so the total time difference will actually be nine hours and 30 minutes so question three there's two options for you to solve this question okay first I use logarithm the base of it will be 81 and the results will be x so x value will actually be 1 over 4 alternatively you can change 81 into 3 to the power of 4 so x times 4 equals to 4x so 3 to the power of 4x equals to 3 to the power of 1 so 4x equals to 1 x equals to 1 over 4 question 4 okay so I listed it down okay, based on its value. Okay, a numbers was removed and the median and range do not change. So the current median will actually be 9. So if we were to remove 9 from the equation, okay, the new median will become 8. So the value that will be removed will actually be 7 okay because there's also additional condition that the range doesn't change means the maximum and minimum we could not do anything to it so part B an extra numbers is included in the original list and the mode to does not change Okay, so the value can be anything between 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, up to 19. So question 5, okay, first thing you need to notice is that the total probability will actually be 1. So take one minus of all the other probability, then you get the results, okay, of 0 0.2. Whereby for part six, okay, I actually make a mistake here, okay, because I treated it as five bracket four W plus four bracket times ten to the power of three. So this is the mistake that I did here, okay. So Attached is a correction. Okay, you can just refer to my working. Okay, the answer should be 8 times 10 to the power of 3. Well, but for question 7, A, B, and D, E are parallel and same length. Question 8, there's high probability that this is actually a geometrical or quadratic sequences. So first thing that you need to do is to find the difference, okay? for two rows okay so from the difference itself 6 10 14 18 
they identify their difference again as 444. So at the second row, if their differences is the same, then you can apply the equation which goes by 2a equals to the square. Okay, then 3a plus b equals to the triangle over there. And a plus b plus c equals to 5. So after you run the calculation, you'll be able to get okay, a equals to 2, b equals to 0, c equals to 3. And then substitute all this value into the equation a n squared plus b n plus c. So your results will actually be 2 n squared plus 3. Question 9, pretty straightforward, okay, recurring decimals, so the x value will actually be 0 0.255555 because 5 is the only value that's recurring, okay, so in order for you to get rid of the 5 that's recurring, so simply put 10x equals to 2.55555, so their difference will actually be 9x equals to 2.3, X value will be 23 over 90. So question 10, two keywords you need to identify is corrected to the nearest centimeter and also upper bound increase. The rounding value will actually be one divided by two equals to 0 0.5. So one year ago, his height was 114. So for this, you are required to round it down and get 113.5 whereby for the new height today, you are required to round it up. Okay, the reason being, by doing so, you can get the maximum value which is the upper bound of this. Okay, so the difference will be 7 cm. Okay, question 11, pretty straightforward. Just take 3 times negative 2 minus bracket negative 11 times 1. The results will be negative 6 plus 11 equals to 5. Okay, so the inverse of m will be 1 over 5 bracket negative 2, negative 1, 11 and 3. Question 12, pretty straightforward. You can just refer to my working. Okay, the key assessment here will be changing the proper fraction into improper. Then only you run the calculation. Okay, but for question 13, find the value of x. So the characteristic of a square is that side is all the same. Hence, x minus 4 will be equals to 7 and x value will actually be 11. So question B, for the triangle side, okay, 11 minus 1 equals to 10. So the square's parameter will actually be 7 times 4 equals to 28 and for the triangle 10 plus 10 plus unknown equals to 28 and the unknown value here will be equals to 8. Question 6 okay so all you need to do okay is to identify the two keywords that they written down in bold Matter, which is minute and hours. So 0 0.95 times 4, okay, this is by per minute. So for 
every hour there's 60 minutes so you're required to multiply it by 60 and the last step is actually multiplied by 3 because they mentioned about 3 hours so the numbers of cubic meter of water flow along this channel will actually be 684 meter cube Question 15, pretty straightforward. You can just refer to my working and sort out the answer. First, I change the 104 into 1 over 2 to the power of 2. So in order for us to shift up the uh, power, simply add a negative into it. Then you will get 2 to the power of negative 2 bracket to the power of 0 0.5. So multiply these two values together, then you get 2 to the power of negative 1 which results in 1 over 2 as the final answer. Whereby for part 2, okay, negative 8 is actually negative 2 to the power of 3. So multiply it by 2 over 3, your results will actually be negative 2 to the power of 2. So the final results will be negative 4. Part B. Okay, simply use the calculator and write down all the value that you have gotten from the calculator. Question 17, okay, pretty straightforward. Use the coordinate given to identify its gradient and the value of C, which is the intersection with Y axis, has actually been given from the coordinate 0, 3. So the final results for the equation will be Y equals to 2X plus 3. So, line P is a perpendicular line to line L. So with the gradient that we have gotten today, which is the gradient of original line times gradient of the perpendicular line equals to negative 1. So this is actually a formula you are required to remember it. So after you run the calculation, the gradient of the perpendicular line will be negative 1 over 2. So question 18, work out the area of the front faces of the barn. So I treated it as two trapezium here. So two bracket, top and bottom divided by two times the height. So the results will actually be 78. And then 
For part B, simply multiply the 78 with 15 to get the meter cube, which is 1170. Question 19, you can refer to my working and sort out this question. Whereby for question 20, okay, first thing first, I list down the value of M, okay, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Whereby for N, the multiple of 3 will be 3, 6, 9, and 12. So find the numbers of value in N, which is 4. And then write down the set where set M intersect with N. This one will be 3 and 9 because it is looking for the part that's reoccurring. Write down a set where P is a subset of M. So P can be N numbers from the list above, okay, but cannot consist of. Last part, A union with C, okay, intercept with everything other than B. So this will be the part where I shaded. Question 21. Okay, so I utilized the 4x given, okay, and treated it as 2ab. So, with that being said, now I identify that my b's value will actually be 2. So, this one is actually the a plus b bracket square formula, okay, and anything that you added in you are required to minus it off at the end. So my results here will be x squared plus 4x plus 2 square bracket my negative 6, negative 2 square. So if you run the calculation, your m value will actually be m and your n value will be negative 10. So for part B, our A will actually be 1 and our B will be 4 and our C will be negative 6. So utilize the formula which goes by negative B plus minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A 
okay, then you will get the results as 1.16 or negative 5.17. So the keyword here is positive solution. So the results will be 1.16. Question 22. Okay, find the 80th percentile. Okay, so total numbers will be 60, 60 times 80% will be 48. So from 48, you drew it down and you identify the distance will be 44 kilometer. Okay, the inter quarter range, so you take 60 multiplied by 75 and multiplied by 25%. Then you will get 45 and 15 respectively. So you draw it out, okay, from the graph itself, you will identify two values which is 40 and 25. So their difference will be 15. Lastly, the numbers of people who traveled more than 60 km. So from 60, you drew it up. Okay, then you identify the numbers of people will be 55. So 60 minus 55, the results will be 5. So question 23, calculate the deacceleration, okay, so 18 minus 10 divided by 20, then you will get 0 0.4 meter per second. Whereby for part B, this will be the area calculation. Okay, you can just refer to my working and sort out the answer. So the total distance will be the area of the shape okay and for you to identify the average speed simply take the total distance that we have gotten earlier divide by its time which is 120 second so the results will be 11.92 meter per second
And our last question here is question 24. So this one is actually a function question. Okay, you can re just refer to my workings and sort it out. So thank you for watching I hope you find this video helpful okay and if you happen to have friends that are struggling to solving all this past year feel free to share our video to them so I wish you all the best in your exam preparation thank you